The Mothman Prophecies was released in 2002. It stars Richard Gere, Deborah Messing, and Laura Linney, and was directed by Mark Pellington. It's loosely based on the accounts of people in Point Pleasant, West Virginia, who say they saw a winged humanoid creature called the Mothman, and also encountered a strange man named Indrid Cold who accurately predicts catastrophes. These events, which occurred in 1966 and 1967, come from a book by the same name published in 1975, written by author John Keel. In the movie, both the Mothman and Indrid Cold are presented as entities that aren't human, but are from Earth and have coexisted with human beings for the entirety of humanity's existence. Gear plays John Klein, a reporter for the Washington Post, who teams up with police sergeant Connie Mills of Point Pleasant, played by Linney, to investigate the strange occurrences in Point Pleasant. Klein is grieving the death of his wife, played by Messing, who dies from brain cancer after briefly seeing the Mothman while driving with her husband. <laughs> About a year after her death, Klein takes a late-night impromptu drive into Virginia, but inexplicably winds up in Point Pleasant, a town in West Virginia, on the border with Ohio. While there, Indrid Cold calls Klein to tell him about catastrophes that will soon occur and to torment him with information about his dead wife. Interestingly, the movie never presents a clear image of the Mothman. We only catch glimpses of him, giving the movie a haunting, otherworldly feeling. Another character in the movie, author Alexander Leake, is based on Keel. He's the expert on the Mothman and reluctantly tells Klein everything he knows. Last week, my friend got a strange phone call from an entity, uh, spirit, whatever. It seemed to know everything. My God. And it made predictions, yeah. And they came true. Yes. His name was Indrid Cole. It's perception, John. They, they appear differently to everyone here. A voice, a light, a man, a monster. If your friend thinks he's talking to God, he's off by more than a few degrees. And how, how do you explain it? Knows everything. Hey, look at that. If there was a car crash ten blocks away, the window washer up there could probably see it. Now, that doesn't mean he's gone. Or even smarter than we are. But from where he's sitting, he can see a little further down the road. Keel strongly advises Klein to drop his investigation because it will likely ruin his life, just as Keel's investigation ruined his. Try as they might, Klein and Sergeant Mills can't solve the mystery of why Indrid Cold predicts tragedies and what exactly the Mothman is, even with the help of Leek. Their investigation comes to an abrupt and terrifying end when a bridge spanning the Ohio River collapses, killing 36 people, something else injured cold predicted accurately. Sergeant Mills falls into the river while stuck in traffic on the bridge. Klein then jumps in and saves her. This scene is based on a real event. The Silver Bridge, which spanned the Ohio River near Point Pleasant, collapsed on December 15, 1967, killing 46 people. Despite its spooky nature and paranormal subject matter, the movie seems to be more about Klein healing from the grief of losing his wife than about the Mothman. She's dead, John. <laughs> the only important question now is how do you want to remember her? I know you do, of course you do. But the Mothman Prophecies ends with an unanswered question. Is the Mothman real? And who is Indrid Cold? The first Mothman sighting occurred on November 15th in 1966. Two young married couples were driving near an abandoned World War II munitions plant outside of Point Pleasant when they spotted what appeared to be a man-sized humanoid with wings and glowing red eyes, standing in the road which then abruptly walked off. As the group drove away, the creature took to the air and followed them. Robert Scarberry, the terrified driver, tried losing the creature, sometimes reaching speeds of 100 miles per hour in his 1957 Chevy, but it easily kept up with his car. 
The group reported the incident to police the next day, and the local newspaper published a story about it. As for injured cold, Woodrow Derenberger, a salesman from Parkersburg, West Virginia, is the only person who claims to have spoken to him or seen him. Derenberger said cold was from a faraway planet named Lanulus. Also, Derenberger would disappear for days at a time, claiming afterward Indrid Cold had taken him to tour that very planet. Biologist Robert Smith of West Virginia University was the first to suggest in 1966 that the Mothman is, in fact, a sandhill crane, a three-foot-tall bird with red patches around its eyes. Others believe it might be a barred owl, a large owl with eyes that glow red in the night when lights are shined on them. After the release of the 2002 film, Point Pleasant began organizing a yearly festival where tourists come to see a statue of the creature and to tour the Mothman Museum, owned and run by Point Pleasant resident Jeff Wamsley. According to Denny Bellamy, executive director of the Mason County Visitors Bureau, the town makes about $2 million every year during the festival, and its population of 4,300 temporarily more than doubles. Dr. Emily Zarka of Arizona State University and host of Monstrum, a series on YouTube, suggests the Mothman is the result of mass hysteria, a condition where a group or community holds an irrational belief. The book, the movie, and the yearly festival have made the Mothman something of a national phenomenon, with over 20 sightings occurring in Chicago in 2017 from April to July. We'll probably never know what the Mothman really is, but it's now a concrete part of West Virginia and American folklore.